Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And this is where it brings me to the next point of where you know, you are eroding the democracy. You are swiping, you are wiping away democracy. This government is wiping away democracy. The democratic space is not shrinking. No, they are just removing it. They are removing it. How are they removing it? They are tempering with the institutions of governance. The three arms of governance. Today, today, judiciary is highly intimidated. How many judges have been fired since UPND came into power? How many people are on disciplinary, whatever, a suspension since UPND came into power? How many people have been thrown Kuma rural areas as a way of victimizing them? The whole judiciary has been shaken such that there are very few judges that are really delivering judgments, especially on these cases that are politically aligned. There are very few judges. There are very few judges. There are very few judges that are really, you know, have got the confidence. Even the majesty, there are very few. These days now, I mean, some of these cases that we have, some of us, it is not really about, I mean, what evidence you have produced. It is about who is prosecuting, who is behind it. That is what it's all about. Our judiciary is highly compromised. I, I have no issue with the individual judges. I have no issue. I have no issue with the individual major I, I have no issue. And I do understand you. Trust me, I do understand you. I have no issue with one magistrate, with one judge. I don't have an issue with, me, with you. You are also human beings. You are human beings. You have got families. To become a judge is not easy. You go through a lot, and now you are a judge, and here you are, facing with this case, eh? facing this case, which is highly politically motivated. Highly politically motivated. How do you handle it? You are looking at the power that may that be. If I don't rule in a certain way, be, tomorrow I will be at the uh, Judicial Complaint Commission. And Judicial Complaint Commission, which is full of politicians there, eh? Those are politicians. Those are not uh, uh, eminent people of our, of, our, of our country. Before the Judicial Complaint Commission was handled by eminent people of our country, today we have politicians in the ju ju uh, Judicial Complaint Commission. What do you expect? They are appointing judges. They are appointing judges on political lines. They are kicking judges out on political lines. So what justice is there? What justice is there? What justice is there? I don't want to mention judge, the judges, but there are judges here among these judges who came in. Judges who came from nowhere. They were just practicing. They were doing company law. They were company, company whatever, whatever. And they are judges. What does you, your, uh, the qualification of a judge say? Somebody must be in practice for a number of years. But we have judges who haven't really qualified to be appointed as judges. And they are judges because they are aligned. Some of them, they failed to be adopted as MPs. A person who aspires to be an MP, a person wearing a PF regalia, a UPND regalia, because he's not adopted, he's not whatever, whatever, next he's appointed as a judge. What do you expect? What do you expect? These are facts. These are facts. They are judges. We can, I don't want to name them. But you, you know them. 
We ignore them. Judges who are cadres. When did this happen? But Kaunda never, we never saw this in Kaunda and Unip. We never saw this. We never saw this. We never saw this in WMMD. We never saw this. This is happening now. Where cadres in uni, in, in, in Rigadia, in UPND Rigadia, today they are sitting there as judges. And they are given cases which are political, we are political cases to adjudicate. What do you expect? Can you say that is the judge, that is the judicial that we can trust? Eh? Can you say that is the judicial that is that is solid? Bamumba Marira, the Chief Justice, I know him, a good man. I one time went in his office, I remember. I will not say anything. I will not say anything. I will not say anything. But really, our judiciary is compromised. It's com highly compromised. And, and they have sent shivers. They have sent shivers in the judges, in the magistrates. They have sent shivers. We have got one magistrate there. One magistrate at uh, Abbas Abodnes case. There is one magistrate who is handling a case of one minister. He is handling a case of one minister. This minister was scammed of mess. This minister was scammed of mess. And the accused has paid. Yeah? I'm giving you. Because you have got power. But really what I say is the truth. You will jail me for speaking the truth. There is this minister. This minister was scammed of mess. He was scammed of mess, and the person that scammed him has paid the total amount. You know when they say uh, you have stolen so much, you have stolen mess worth one million kwacha, and then the person that stole one those that mess has gone and paid the mess, paid the money to this minister, to this minister. He has paid the, ma the money to this minister. But this minister is saying, no, you must add interest. You must add interest. And in the case, the judge, the magistrate is failing to deliver judgment. The magistrate has all the receipts of this person that this person has paid. He, he, the magistrate has the receipts. He knows that this person, the accused, has paid. And the, 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 the minister, this minister, is saying, no, this person must pay interest and the legal fees. If he doesn't pay, if he doesn't pay a, a interest and legal fees, you should convict him. And you say that is, that is justice. You say that is justice. And the lawyers who are representing this minister, they are linked to the, one of the commissioners in the Judicial Complaint Commission. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you followed that story? There is this story. There is a story. One minister was scammed of mess. The accused has paid the total sum according to the indictment. He has paid. But the judgment is not coming out. Why? Because the minister is saying, no, you must pay interest. And you must pay legal fees. Is that justice? And the legal, the, 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 the people representing the minister, the law firm is linked to a person in the Judicial Complaint Compl Compl Commission. You think that magistrate can, can dare say, no, go home, you are acquitted. You think he can do that? You think he can do that? This case is there. It's real. What I'm telling you is true. It's the truth. Even now, even the minister himself, he knows what I'm talking about. Even the, the lawyers, no. Even the commissioner, no. So, judiciary is highly compromised. It is highly compromised. Highly compromised. Look at it. even this issue. Uh, Yawa PF. Look at the issue of PF. Before I go to the PF, look at the case of Job, uh, 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 of uh, Bowman and Joe Malange. Surely, by Chief Justice, what do you have to say? And I hope one day, I hope one day, somebody can ask, I hope this, somebody can ask these people, 
What do you have to say? Banumba Marila, what do you have to say today about the case of Joe Malanji and Boma Nusambo? What do you have to say? If I say your, your judiciary is compromised, if I say your judiciary is compromised, what do you have to say about the case of Boma Nusambo and Joe Malanji? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Eh? What do you have to say? Including ECZ. I'm talking about, don't forget the headline. The headline is how democracy is being wiped out. And I'm talking about the judiciary. There is a case where clearly the judgment has said, the judgment has said clearly that no, this was a wrong judgment. Malangi had a certificate. Boma Nusambo should not have been barred from contesting. And today Boma is not in court, is not in parliament. And there is a member of parliament who took over. What do you call that? What do you call that? As a chief justice, what do you say about such cases? What do you say? Then we have this case now, we have a PF. We have this case, we have a PF. A blatant slap on, the, on, the, on, on justice. A blunt and face, you know, a slap. I mean, what, what do you want? How can you look at this, even if you want to be a praise singer? Yeah? Even if you want to be a praise singer, how can you look at this? A party that has a structure, a party that has a constitution, when we are registered in political parties, we, we submit our constitution, and everything that has to happen has to be according to the constitution. And in that constitution, there is a president, there is a secretary general, there is what, 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 and everything put aside. People are unknown to the party, to the structures of the party. Unknown, unknown. People who are not even PF, people who are not even PF, people who are not even PF. Now, we say, they are talking. People were not even PF. And even if they were PF, talk about numbers. How many were they? Who called for the who called for the convention? Who called for the convention? Who was a returning office? Was he recognized by the party? But what is happening now today? What is happening? What is happening? Everything is coming from the courts. Mao Samba is moving around wielding the presidency of PF coming from where? From the courts. From the courts. That's where it's coming from. That's where it's coming from. Protected by who? The state. Protected by who? The state. It is the state that is protecting Mao Sam. It is the state that is protecting the Mao Sam. The police were there at Mulungush. Who sent those police officers at Mulungush? Who sent? Was the IG at that point, didn't, didn't he know who were the bona fide uh, leaders, leaders of PF? Didn't he know? Because it was orchestrated by the state. It was orchestrated by the state. Today, we have that situation. And we have now somebody masquerading as leader of opposition in parliament. These are real things. You can hate me all you want. You can hate me all you want. But these are real things. And if you are a fool to believe this, that is your problem. I don't talk to fools myself. I talk to reasonable people. So I'm not interested in fools. I'm interested in reasonable people. And a reasonable person, a person that is patriotic, a person that loves this country, cannot fail to see that that is an assault on our democracy. Wiping away a big political party. You may not like PF. They may have done bad. You may have voted them out. But surely, if you are a patriotic Zambian, you would not like to see lawlessness being done in the manner that it has been done. You may not like PF. But surely, that what has, been, what has happened is nonsense. What has happened is nonsense. And it is coming out of America now. They are coming, they are talking. But they are coming out of America. 
They are revealing everything that happened. They are revealing everything that happened. It is there for everyone to see. What more do you want? Not to see that the state is involved in this. The state is wiping away democracy. Because if you are wiping away political parties without following the law, that is wiping away democracy. It is not democratic space shrinking. It is wiping away democracy. Don't kill those boys. And look at it. Look at you know, sometimes you might think that you know what is happening, it's so sophisticated. But all what is there is lawlessness. That's all. That's all that, that, that there is. Lawlessness. Anarchy. That's all there is. Anarchy because they have got powers, because UPND is in charge, because Hakan HDMI is in charge, he can do whatever he wants. That is what is here. Because they, can, they have got powers, because they are controlling the police, they can do it. They can do it. Tapali Mingala to Tapali. It is all lawlessness, it, it is all the arrogance of having power. And you Zambian people, you need to see this for what it is. Nothing. Arrogance of people, of, of people whom you have put in office. They have become monsters. They have become monsters. They, have, they are turning away. They, they want to wipe away the democracy that brought them into power. You want to remove the democracy that will put you into power. But look, you are forgetting one thing. Democracy brought you into power. If you remove democracy, how are you going to come out? How are you going to come out? Eh? You think you will stay in power? No, it's impossible. It's impossible. It will take. It may take whatever time. There was even Hitler. We had Hitler, but his time came. We had Mussolini. His time came. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long you may stay. But the fact is, one day you will go. You may work hard to even kill some of us. You may work hard to even jail some of us. It's okay. It's your time. But God, God will not sleep. It may not come from me because for me, certainly, I have no time for vengeance. I'm not going to avenge anyone. I'm not going to do that. But somewhere, somehow, the evil that you do to others will come and haunt you. You think you are safe. You think you are being protected by those police officers on the gate. You think you are safe when you are being driven by these drivers in these big cars. Na security na mkwata, you think you are safe. You are not the first ones to be in those offices. You are not the first ones. They were more powerful people. More capable people. For that matter. Capable. Not him we. Aba kutola mufishala. 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 We can see you from afar. We can see you. We can see who to do when. We can see it. We can see what it went. We can see how light you are. You are nothing. You are just nothing, and you are actually cowards. You are cowards because if you are not cowards, you would face some of us. Some of you have even been calling you. You don't even answer phone calls because you are cowards. You don't have the courage to come and face me. Why don't you have the courage to face me and tell me that this, 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 this? You don't have the courage. You are cowards. I think in a mutu putra tapa befi abamu. Because I'm working on something. At least, I'm lying about you. You can't even face me. You can't even face me and you are busy. Shadow punching, shadow punching, shadow punching. Eh? Nahalile kuli wa mukuni kuli. Nahalile kuli wa mukuni. It is there. And wa mukuni was very gracious. It is even on video. He even agreed to say, I said, your Royal Highness, can we put this on video? He said, it's okay. It is on video. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. 
Tomorrow, I'm even going to tell those who are prosecuting you. Up to today, the case is being prosecuted. And you want to turn around to say, no, you were, you, you, you were um, uh, interfering with the witness. How? How? You think Chief Mukuni is a person that I can just go and intimidate? I can go to Chief Mukuni just like that, if I'm not invited. What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? Hey, I'm going one day. I'm going to go one You have got powers. You can do whatever you want. Do it. Do it. Me, I don't care. A person vikire. Ah, that. Na vika pono uchushu, no uchushu, 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 uchushu. Ah, who cares now? Who cares? Ah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't care. I don't care. Kale is I don't care. I don't. I don't. And, and I, I'm not a pretender. I will go down, but I want you to know what I think of you. That you are cowards. You can't even face me. That you are nothing. And you don't even know that you are putting that HH in problems. You are supposed to be helping him. You are not helping him. And if he himself doesn't see it, then he's also a bad politician. Because if you're a good politician, you should be able to see who is helping you and who is working against you. You should be able to see. It is a bad politician who doesn't know who to work with. Who to work with and how to control things. You are a bad politician. This nonsense of saying, no, hey, it's the people that surround him. The people that surround him. No. Whatever. Hey, even one Walungu had Even the region Tulalanda, Tulalanda na Walungu, by the way. Tulalanda, you, you must know, I talk to him. I talk, but even when I talk to him, you can ask him. I don't miss my words. What I say here, I tell Walungu in private. I tell Walungu. I tell Walungu, I tell Walungu, the people that you were working with, they messed you up. And you are still keeping some of these people. I tell him. Because some of them are still, uh, I mean, Failures of politicians. I don't know why these leaders like to surround themselves with failures of politicians. Failures of politicians. And some of them are not even politicians. I don't know why they like... Because, Balu, you have come back in politics. You need to jack up with the people that you are being found with. Some of these people are toxic. They are toxic in the, in the political environment. People don't like them. You don't want me... I don't, you don't want me to mention their names. I don't know. You have got a chance, Balungu has got a chance. It's possible Balungu can come back. Because some of you say, no, 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 hey, we can't go back to the vomit. You can't go back to the vomit. But Zambians who are suffering, they would rather go back to Lungu than to VHH. They would rather go back to Balungu than VHH. That nonsense that we are putting up, hey, Kadarizim, hey, Tukesamku Pumwa, and whatever, whatever Lungu Tewa Leuma And I'm sure he has learned his lesson. He has learned his lesson. So me, I am talking about Lungu, but I'm not committing anything. It's not that I'm, I'm working with them. No, I haven't joined. I haven't joined it. If I'll join, I'll tell you that I've joined. Uh, so far, I haven't joined. I haven't joined. But yes, we talk. And one thing that I'm appreciating Balungu, I must say it here, that in spite of our differences in public, in spite of whatever I've said, you do, you are able to call me and call me Mwashuken. I really appreciate. You may not give me the money that I need, but I do appreciate your phone calls to just greet me. I am grateful. I am really grateful. I am grateful that you paid a 20,000 kwacha for me when the UPND wanted me to go into jail. I am grateful. I am very grateful when you did that. I am really grateful. I'll, but I will still repeat to say, I wish even before you had put in more to say, ah ah, ye, eh, send up twenty pini, kapere kwa lawyers, ngabari wako motivated. Palasta ma lawyers, vali shukawa mbutuka. Vali mbutuka. Thank you to, 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 ka, to ka, 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 ka Jonas Jiro. He's the one that came up, picked me like an orphan, and he helped me. But I know it has also been very difficult for, 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 for Joseph Chiro. But at least I thank him. I am not complaining against my lawyers, whatever, whatever. I do understand it. But the fact is that, yes, 
mwalinde kako mwalinde kako mwalinsha you were helping me i don't understand and i blame you the zambian people who didn't help me at least wa pela kuka 50 pin tamano ya zwa mtengo va mtengo so at least wa pela kuka 50 pin kuti vale kwata kona nika nechizio namba mdala every day every day my cases every day my cases ta wa pela kuti chose eh ati yo 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 eh ba kesa folanga balungu ba wera mpawa tempo chaba mano ya staff ro kubombe staff ro kubombe mufire mwa pela ko something so anyway ishira la bana nika ne Thing in there and there, in there and the judiciary. Judiciary is compromised, and I've given you some of these cases, which makes me say judiciary is highly compromised. And the issue of firing judges, the lower term judge, the lower term judge, my lower term judge, judge firing judges, quite ma kajo wekazi, musuga plantation, quite ma kajo wekazi, musuga plantation, doesn't make the justice system solid. Because you are sending a message that whoever goes against what the state wants, he's gone. Whoever goes, is gone. I'm not saying judges are, are perfect. No, they are not perfect. They are not perfect. But certainly, the rate at which this government has fired judges, the rate at which this government has transferred magistrates, it is enough to shake or to instill fear in the judges. And what has happened, like the cases of Yabena Maos, the cases of, 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 of Joe Malanji, the cases of Oman Sambo, there are other cases. The way their things have happened, the way some of the cases are being prosecuted at the magistrate, you can say, no, no, this is not right. This is not right. And some people think that they are doing, they are doing their job. You are, you are digging the grave for Haka in the Ichirima. You are creating more enemies for Haka in the Ichirima. I am not saying forgive criminals. No. No. Jail criminals. Jail criminals. But not some of these cases are politically motivated. Because this businessman was supporting Lungu. You go and fix him. You go and fix him. If my cases. Just because he, he, he was aligned to Ed Galung. You grab the properties and what and what. And you think you are doing, you are, you are doing yourself a favor. You are not doing yourself a favor, trust me. You are creating, you are subtracting from the political goodwill that HH has. You are subtracting. Talk about the, 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 the legislature. The legislature, I mean... I have agreed with Bamaewa Neri Muti on certain issues. But certainly, Bamaewa Neri Muti, you are too emotional. You are too emotional for a speaker. Too emotional, too emotional. Parliament, yeah, look at your church, is a 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 like a marketplace, kwa wana mayo, na pa market wana mayo tawala kapo fiye yu. Pa market wana tawala kapo efi. But mu parliament, mwa ikari ya fe nchito, kula kafe, kula kafe, kula kafe. Eh? Nita nye hui ino yati, atishani, eh, uye hui nati moyo. Eh? Ya! Uriya mundu. Half magwisa uriya hui. Eh? It's just something. It's just something else. Eh? I'm sorry, Katwishi. <laughs> My room comfort you that you are putting our parliament in disrepute. But nonsense. Where is our democracy? We're supposed to speak. We're supposed to offer checks and balances. That's why we have democracy. So don't intimidate us with, no, you can't talk about this, you can't talk about this. No, we have to talk. We have to offer checks and balances. But speak and put me for Asia. You are paid by the, by, by, by the tax, by, by taxpayers' money. That institution belongs to the people. So don't gag us. Don't gag us. We're supposed to talk about you the way you are, the way you are handling that office. And certainly the way you are handling that office is, is below the expectations. It's far below. It is not about intimidation that you plan to run Akashi. Awe! For your mother, Turoish, I'm not going to run Akashi. about delivery. 
You can't have a, a parliament every day, Mulakafi, every day, Mulakafi. What have you done this, in this parliament of yours? What have you done? Apart from passing budgets. Eh? What have you done? What have you done? What are really, if you look at you say, we have brought this to the people, what have you done? The issue of the constitution. You can't, you don't even talk about it. You were busy po police po promising when we will come and change the constitution. Hey, Buten was useless. When we come in, we will come and do you are almost getting out of power if you haven't realized. We have reached the climax. Now we have started going down. When are you going to touch the constitution? When are you going to touch the constitution? Do you even have the courage to touch the constitution? Hmm? This reflects on you, the speaker. Why have you? Why, why has it become a personal, a personal affair, you know? It is like a personal affair between Munia Zulu and the speaker. Now, you know, you work in Kenya, it's none. Uyu, 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 uh, Peter UK. Eh? This MP. Binwe Wampun. I mean, there are MPs that are in the IMN. You even see the demeanor of the speaker, Ya Chinja. And you know, for goodness sake, forever Tamba. We, we see the board language of the speaker. Even when you appoint somebody, you even change like a snake ready to, to, to spit. Eh? And, and you are saying people are dying. Where is the evidence? Lay the evidence on the table. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. That, we are wiping away our democracy. We, we cannot take pride in what is happening in parliament. We can't. We can't. And the speaker, the second speaker and the third speaker, it is your responsibility to make sure that for the third number debate, we feel good to say, yes, our country is moving forward. Not you are even debating. No, this, this, come on. Come on. No. No, 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 no. 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 I suggest this from I know I'm talking like this, you are not you are not happy with me. But I suggest that you watch yourself. Go and ask, go and take 10. I'm a videos. For example, why did you suspend Munia Zul? Why did you suspend Munia Zul? What is wrong? What was wrong with Munia Zul? You should apologize on that one. I know Munia Zulu is a cantankerous boy. He's a cantankerous boy. But you know, wisdom from a speaker make, you know, uh, the speaker handle such people. We have watched Avena Navuliato controlling Avena Kamalondo. Go and watch. Katushinge kwa yaba mwaka ibs. Kwa di Avena Kamalondo, Munia. Kwa di Avena Sata, Munia. Bari ma characters. Kwa di Avena Nani Kanati Nani, Bari. You go and watch. They were characters. They were characters. But the speakers who were there, we using wisdom, they handled those members of parliament. They handled those members of parliament. Now the speaker feels like she's too powerful. She's too powerful. You must know, the speaker, you were not voted. You were not voted. You were not voted. This is a fact. You were not voted. And consider yourself on a, on, a, on a ticket as a member of parliament. Could you even go through? Ask yourself, the speaker, the more of a speaker, ask yourself to say, which constituents can I go and contest? Even me, I can wallop you. I can wallop you. So give respect to the members of parliament. They were elected by the people. It is not easy to be elected. Some of us, we have contested elections. We know how difficult it is. You don't come to parliament anyhow. You, you have to, to campaign. You have to campaign. It's not easy. And you, you can't even go through. He may look foolish as he may be. He beat people there. He beat people as an independent. There was a woman that contested as an MP, but Munia Zulu beat that woman and became a member of parliament. Give him respect. 
Don't treat him like a child. You can't go and stand in Munia Zulu's constituents and win an, an MP an election. You can't. And them sound a fishing cave. So come on, don't treat, don't insult the intelligence of the electorates when the people of Peta UK and the M when the people voted for him, they were not foolish. You can't tell me that thousands of those people that voted for Munia Zulu were that foolish or they didn't know him. No, come on. I am not saying he's always right. The like guy can also be a problem, but you need to have the wisdom as a speaker to handle him. Not what is happening. Stand up. Step aside. Step aside so that we can see you. See what? The guy was not naked. He was wearing a chitenge. What chitenge? What was that? Why didn't you even ask him? What is that you are wearing? What are you symbolizing? Your standing orders say a member of parliament can wear traditional. And why are you insisting so much? Yes, okay, that's right. But the standing orders say, you know, traditional whatever, whatever should be allowed. Should be allowed. So, but why should you become so agitated, Mayo? So agitated. Eh? So agitated. But really, me, I'm, I'm tired of seeing, you know, the speaker always quarreling with the members of parliament. I'm tired. I want to see debate in the tamba. But you don't say when you are watching, it's the speaker quarreling. Come on. Ignore some of these things, my You should be able to understand. You should be able to understand. Parliament should be enjoyed by the members of parliament. Let there be a good atmosphere. No more parliament Pamanda. Your parliament Pamanda. Parliament Pamanda. No, come on. It's just not right. It's not right. Don't wield power so much. Don't wield power so much. And people, good leaders, don't wield power. Good leaders don't need to use their power. Good leaders use their wisdom to rule. Move with Good leaders don't use their power to rule. Good leaders use their wisdom to rule. They don't use their, 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 their powers. If you are a leader, every day you are referring to the rule. Every day you are referring to the rule. You know there is a problem. You people who wake. If at your, at your, your workplace, you are always referring to the rules of the company. The rules of the company. Why is it that people are always disobeying the rules? Why? Why? Why is it that people are always disobeying the rules? You can instill discipline. Now If every day every day every day, you just know you are a bad parent. Just know you are a bad parent. Just know you are a bad parent. Look at me with my Kalitu key. You think uh, there is no discipline there? There is serious discipline. Serious discipline. But look, we joke around. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I use wisdom. I use wisdom. But Bambi, I'm going to pick it. Hey, Walopola. Hey, Walopola. You are not a good parent. You are not a good parent. If you are every day, Walopola, every day, Walopola, every day, you are shouting at children. Just know there is a problem. When are you going to enjoy with the children? When are you going to laugh with the children? Children must be comfortable with you. Children must be comfortable with you. So, there is something that is going on there. And coming now to the executive. Coming to the executive. Vamdala wa HH. Teku mi pata. Teku mi pata. Teku mi pata. Nisha mi pata. Nisha mi pata. I've got no reason. For what? For what? Where have we met personally? I've never interacted you personally. Interacted with you personally. I've never. So why would I hate you? Why would I hate you? But there are people that are busy saying, no, this man hates you. This man is tribal. There is no tribe in me. 
I don't know about tribe. I don't. I look at what a person is doing. That's all. There is no tribe. There is no gender for me. Nothing. It is human beings. And if I'm there our age, age. If I'm there our age, age. You are very confident, number one. Very confident. Very confident that you are a president. And you are feeling it. And indeed you are a president. Me, I agree. I agree. You are a president and I respect you. But when you are ruling people, you need, you need to be, you need to, you need to have humility. You need to have humility. What you have is political power. Political power given to you by the people. You tried five times. They never gave you. Including me, I was always, the sixth time, including me, I said, let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. You are there because of the people. And when you say because of the people, it should not just, don't just talk about it. Don't just, you know, it shouldn't just be rhetoric. It should be real. It should be real. It should be real. You are overconfident and you feel that you are there and you cannot move out. That's how you feel. You are there and you cannot move out. You are dead wrong. You are dead wrong. And you are dead wrong. You are the president, but you can go out and you can go out in 2026. And I'm telling you, yes, the political whatever barometer is blowing is in your favor at this point in time. It's your time. But you must ask yourself, what is going to keep you in that power? Is it your ego? Is it your pride or the people? You should. You should. I know you watch these videos. I know. I know. <laughs> Fools will argue to say, no, no, no. Hey, HH doesn't watch. How many times did HH take me to prison? How many times? Even when he was in opposition, how many times did he, did he, did he take me there? Yeah. Why am I going to Kumakoti if HH doesn't watch? He watches. And I'm telling you, Bamdala, you, you, you have got too much confidence. You are too proud. And the pride really is repugnant to people. People repu uh, repulse pride. They repulse pride. If you look at Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu, in all, in all fairness, is not a remarkable leader. He's not a remarkable leader. But because of his humility, whether it is by an it is by 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 skill, uh, by pretense, whatever it is, but that makes him attractive. It makes him attractive. And you know, no matter what you are doing, but if you have got that pride and there is somebody who is seemingly humbler. People will go for the person that is humbler. Even if he's not a good leader. Even if he may not have the solutions. They will go for him. They will go for him. You can't have a government where it is only you. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You need to recognize others. You need to recognize others. As in this recognition, it is not just by the demand of the law. Because the law says appoint ministers, then you appoint ministers and you say no, I've recognized people. No. It has to be personal. It has to be, you know, people need to feel comfortable around you. People need to feel comfortable around you. They need to feel comfortable around you. I don't know. I don't know. I've never come close to you and whatever. So I don't know your leadership. But it seems that even the people that come around, it is more of take for pictures, to take pictures, like the way at Bishop Mpundu said. It is more about taking pictures. It is more about taking pictures. Because really, a leader must be seen that is being influenced by others, not just what he himself thinks. Not just what he himself thinks. You need to draw people closer. You need to have new, new friends. But which are the new friends that you have? Apart from the Avena Nankane, Avena Atshan, Greg Milna, Avena Tony Blair, people from outside. Who have you drawn? 
close that we can say, okay, HH has drawn this, has drawn this, has drawn this. Who, has, who have you drawn? Even some of us who have been pleading to come close to you, we don't have, okay, fine, you can leave Chirufa Tayari aside, but who have you, who have you, have you brought close? Who have you brought close? Bamdaru ukulu wanko kumasa, ukulu wanko kumasa ko. Politics is about numbers. Politics is about numbers. I don't know where you are drawing the confidence to feel that you will go on as long as you want. I don't know. I don't know. Because even those people that you are thinking, this one, that one, that one, they need to feel close. People will be ready to die for you. They will be ready to die for you if they are close, if they can feel you, if they can feel Ubuntu. They, can, they, they will be ready to die for you. Who is close to you? Who is close to you? Don't follow Ababa Kandiri, Ababa Lefola, Avena Jito. Don't follow those. Don't follow those. Those are getting paid. Those are getting paid. Those are getting paid. Come on, Mamdala. No. No. I shall fit. You are. Ime sometimes I'll come on. Even in the room for Mdala and the Blay Pelama lectures, yen we are ya. Ah. Be human, be humble. If into na fish up on Chalo. Things are hard in this country. This country, things are hard. Be humble, acknowledge this. Tinubuko. Be humble, accept. You cannot keep on. A, a preaching, no, we have done so much, we have done so much, we have done so much when people are suffering. Address the sufferings of the people. Calm down, forget about the nonsense of a, a dead mountain, dead mountain, hey, what, 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 what? I mean, what does that mean to an ordinary Zambian? When, Shula, if you are saying my numbers are better than, H, than Ed Galungus, which numbers are you talking about? Which numbers are you talking about? Calm down, Wangdala. Calm down. Calm down and let the people feel you. Let the people feel you. I don't know those who are around you who are doing politics, what they are telling you. Calm down. What you did on Corona, that was good. That was commendable. How you did party Corona, going there and whatever, that was good. Do the same thing to the cost of living. Do the same thing to the cost of living. Come down. Talk to people on that level. Talk to people of Mutengo Wavunga. Talk to people on the issues relating to fuel. Talk to the young people in relation to them looking for jobs. Not just beating your chest. Hey, we have employed so many nurses. We have employed so many teachers. Back in the How many professions do we have? How many, how many have gone to teaching and, and nursing? How many? How many have trained as accountants? How many have trained as a, 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 a agriculturists? How many have trained as a, many other professions? What are you saying to them? What about those who are failing? Hey, hey we have restored the hey, hey, meal allowance, meal allowance. How many are in universities? How many are getting that meal allowance? How many? How many? So, these are real issues. And if you are not talking to people on these real issues, what confidence do you have that you will return 2026? If not, the manipulation of democracy. Because you can only have confidence under these circumstances if you are ready to do what is not right, what is not democratic, then you can be confident. If you are ready to do what you did, Kulibom Manusambo. If you are ready to do what you did to John Malange. If you are ready to do what is what has happened to PF. That's when you. That is the only way you can be confident. But that is dangerous. Trust me, that is dangerous. I don't even need to go there because if I go there, my room can be at treason. But certainly, it is dangerous. If you remove democracy, if you start banking on and democratic processes to sustain your power, then you are trading dangerously. 
you need to have the confidence in the democratic processes. Not anything else. Not anything else. These mingalatos that are currently going on, these mingalatos, they are not democratic. And if you continue going undemocratically, others will also go undemocratic. And if they go undemocratic, this is where we hear bad news in other countries. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let us convince each other. Let us not intimidate. You cannot, you cannot force us into submission by arresting us. A person you are busy trying to see what can we frame up, what case can we frame up so that we arrest him. That is not democracy. I have not insulted you. I have not insulted you. I have just spoken about the realities going on in our country. Why should you send police officers on me? Because you can control them, because you can, you can, you can, you can, you can command them? How sure are you that all those police officers that will come and arrest me, they will agree with you? And for how long are they going to do things that they are not happy with? For how long? There will come a time when they will say, no, sir, we are not going to do this. No, sir, we are not going to arrest you for that. And instead of arresting Chilipa we will say, no, we want Chilipa to be our leader. I'm telling you, these things happen. You are busy sending, go and arrest him, go and arrest him. Go. One day, those police officers or those soldiers or whoever, they will say, no, 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 we are not going to arrest him. We want him as our leader. He's speaking for us. So be careful. Be careful. Don't overuse your powers, your executive powers. Don't overuse them. Don't win, don't win confidence in silencing people using power. Don't. Convince us. Talk to me. Balungu na lelande fia kulandana nda balungu. Shan, 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 shan. Baungu fwa tindi mujere. Vatu mo muntu. Mutu alile mtuanti pini alipile. Balungu ninji karasore. One day I was almost sleeping. Bantu mina phone. I sit up, Your Excellency, it's you. Yes, my generation. I want to talk about the people And don't blame Lungu for talking to me. Don't blame Lungu for talking to me. Don't blame Lungu if he convinces me to support him. Don't. Don't. Because I've offered myself to you. And you're just kicking me around. You are kicking me around. You are stabbing me on my back. How do you think I'm going to feel? Do you think I'm going to like you? Even you, the so-called friends, you think I'm going to continue calling you friends when I know you are, you are after my, my blood. Do you think I'm going to continue? I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to continue. But I can assure you, I can assure you, whatever you are planning on me, whatever you are planning on me, it will not, it will not break me. It will not break me. I will go through it and I will be on the other side. But I can assure you, vengeance is not mine. Vengeance is not mine. But what you are doing, I want you to know, it is very bad. You know I'm not a criminal. You know I haven't done anything wrong. I've only spoken for the Zambian people. That's all I've done. And you are busy coming after me because of your own deficiencies. Because of your own insecurities. If you are, if you are really men, you know, like a mutembo nchito, mutembo nchito I didn't agree with him. But I didn't agree with him on everything. But I liked mutembo nchito. Up to today, not because mutembo nchito came and rescued me when Balungu uh, put me in my cells. I like the guy. The guy is courageous. The guy faces you. Ah, mutembo nchito. Ah, mani mdala yue. Ah, because I took you on. Pass no Hey, shan 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 shan. 
Na savai rapa na savai rapa. Nga muliba ume, you should call me. Not to kutambo kutuma yui. Don't send yui. Come and face me. Ala? This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.